Olá, pessoal! As Portuguese learners will already know that in Portuguese, nouns have genders, but in English, they don't. Adjectives vary in number and gender whenever possible, but in English, they don't. Now, have you ever wondered what English has that Portuguese doesn't? In today's lesson, we will learn three, three structures that English has, but Portuguese doesn't. Grab your notebook and join me! What does English have that Portuguese doesn't? Apostrophe. Yes, apostrophe to indicate possession. If you want to say in Portuguese, the boy's cap is blue. First, you must reverse the word order and after that, use the preposition de with contractions if needed. So, the sentence, the boy's cap is blue, in Portuguese, it is O boné do menino é azul. O boné do menino é azul. The sentence literally translates into The cap of the boy is blue. O boné do menino é azul. Now let's see all the examples. That's Eric and that's Eric's house. So first change the word order and then use the prepositions de, do, da, dos, das, depending on the noun you are using. So in this case we are going to use do. Aquela é a casa do Eric. Aquela é a casa do Eric. Oh, that's Eric's sister. Aquela é a irmã do Eric. Aquela é a irmã do Eric. That's Eric's sister's bike. Oh, and now, huh? Aquela é a bicicleta da irmã do Eric. Aquela é a bicicleta da irmã do Eric. Those are Eric's sister's toys. Aqueles são os brinquedos da irmã do Eric. Aqueles são os brinquedos da irmã do Eric. Oh, that's Eric's father. Aquele é o pai do Eric. Let me ask him if he read yesterday's newspaper. Você leu o jornal de ontem? ontem. Você leu o jornal de ontem? Li, tem muitos problemas no mundo de hoje. Yeah, there are many problems in today's world. Tem muitos problemas no mundo de hoje. Hum, tem muitos problemas no mundo de hoje. A clear distinction between English and Portuguese is the absence of auxiliary verbs in Portuguese. In Portuguese, we are going to conjugate verbs in order to convey different verb tenses. For example, I don't drink coffee. Eu não bebo café in the present tense. I didn't drink coffee. Eu não bebi café in the past tense. I won't drink coffee. Eu não beberei café or eu não vou beber café in the future. I wouldn't drink coffee. Eu não beberia café. Now, since Portuguese doesn't have auxiliary verbs, how are questions asked? Well, yes or no questions have the same word order as statements. What differs is intonation. Yes, intonation. Well, declarative statements have a more neutral intonation, but yes or no questions have a rising intonation. Check it out. Ele fala português. A statement. Ele fala português. Now, a question. Ele fala português? Ele fala português? In the past. Ele visitou o Brasil. Statement. Ele visitou o Brasil. Question. Ele visitou o Brasil? Ele visitou o Brasil? Mm, so, intonation is crucial in Portuguese. Practice a little. How would you ask these questions in Portuguese? Mm, so, first, no auxiliary verbs in Portuguese. Then, conjugate the verb in the proper verb tense. And after that, focus on intonation. Rise intonation since it's a yes or no question. Você gosta de viajar? Você gosta de viajar? 
Mm. <laughs> Let's practice a little more. Você viajou no último feriado? Você viajou no último feriado? Hum. Você vai visitar o rio? Você vai visitar o rio? Ah, muito bom, muito bom. Did you know that unlike English, Portuguese doesn't have phrasal verbs? Wake up, turn on, get up, take off. Look for, put on, don't try, don't try to translate phrasal verb in English to Portuguese. It won't work. Let me show you. Hmm? So, to look is often translated into olhar. Up means para cima. But in the sentence, I looked up his phone number in my contacts list. I looked up doesn't mean... Eu olhei para cima? No, no, it doesn't. I looked up means eu procurei. Eu procurei. Eu procurei o telefone dele na minha lista de contatos. Eu procurei o telefone dele na minha lista de contatos. Another example, to look after. To look is often translated into olhar. After means depois. Depois. But in the sentence, he asked me to look after his dog. To look after doesn't mean olhar depois. No, it means cuidar, cuidar. Ele pediu para eu cuidar do seu cachorro. Ele pediu para eu cuidar do seu cachorro. And to look down on someone. To look down on someone means menosprezar, menosprezar. You shouldn't look down on people who don't have a college degree. Você não deve menosprezar as pessoas que não têm um diploma universitário. Você não deve menosprezar as pessoas que não têm um diploma universitário. Well, in the pinned comment, there are some sentences with phrasal verbs in English. Why don't you try to translate them into Portuguese? Remember not to translate word for word. Uh -huh. If you liked today's lesson, I suggest you watch that one on English words that we use in Brazil, but with surprisingly different meanings from the original ones. Yes! Thank you for watching another lesson and see you next time. Até a próxima! Tchau!